Hi, I am Pastor Richard Warnicke, and welcome to our Thursday devotion. Moses must have been tremendously hurt. He had been walking over 40 years through the wilderness with over 2 million Israelites, and they were getting close to crossing the Jordan River, walking into the Promised Land. And his sister dies, his sister Miriam. So he has to bury her and leave her behind. They begin the journey again. And while he's suffering, mourning, the people walk up to him and they're not very kind. They, as often had taken place in the past, begin complaining. There's not enough good food. There's not enough water. To the point where Moses and Aaron, his brother, were tremendously concerned, afraid. They run to the tabernacle, the tent of meeting. They throw themselves now before God and they pray. And God answers their prayer. God could have very easily disciplined all of those people, but he didn't. He was gracious and merciful. And he tells Moses to pick up his staff, go to a rock, and there speak to it. And an abundance of water would just spill out, taking care of all the people's needs. So Moses does exactly what God commanded, except he was full of himself. And he says to the people of Israel, he says, you rebels, you expect us to do this for you? And he takes his staff, hitting the rock twice, and yet the water continues to pour out. What a gracious God we have who continues yet today to meet all of our needs and plenty of water. Jesus, in his gospel, John chapter 7, verses 37 through 39, talks about another water that he spills on us abundantly. This is what he says. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. This is a prophecy that Isaiah also spoke of in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11, when he said, You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. John here says that when Jesus speaks... Jesus is talking about the work of the Holy Spirit. How the Holy Spirit would take the living water of the gospel, Jesus Christ himself, the message of salvation in Jesus, and spill this out into the world like a river that's flooding and pouring over everything. And that living water has spilled into our lives as we continue to drink in the gospel, the good news of God's love for us in Jesus. It's amazing how our, our faith in Christ continues to blossom and flourish and grow. And that same water spills out of us so that others may also rejoice. I, th I find it amazing how, and I was, I'm a parent, I understand this too, but how often parents are tremendously concerned about the company their children keep, how the company their friends could have a negative impact on their lives. Here, God reminds us that when the living water spills over in us, it will spill out of us like a river. And the Holy Spirit will take that gospel that comes out of us from our words, even our actions, and cause people to drink the living water that the Holy Spirit brings to them too. And God uses us for that purpose. And in turn, as it spills into other people's lives, it can have an impact in their heart as the Holy Spirit calls us out of darkness into his wonderful light. What a joy. A joy to know that as we drink in the gospel, the living water of Christ, it will also spill out of our lives so that Christ will have an impact with all. Lord, Use us to your glory and keep us drinking in so your water can flow from us. We pray, Lord, thank you for giving us yourself the water of life. May the Holy Spirit continue to 
bring this saving gospel, this water of life into our lives, and may it then spill out of our life so that others may rejoice in the water that gives them life, in the river that points us to Christ as our Savior and Lord. Amen. Hey, God's blessings as we keep drinking in the water of life and watch how it has an impact in others' lives. All to God's glory. Until next time.